Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm okay with uh, South Africa allowing immigrants from the Democratic Republic of Congo, but things need to happen. One, it doesn't need to be an all-free-for-all open borders policy. I'm okay with people from the Democratic Republic of Congo getting refugee status in South Africa due to a lot of things that are happening in the Democratic Republic of Congo, provided the COVID-19 in South Africa gets under control. But here's what needs to happen before any of this goes on. Let me explain. Okay. The co First of all, immigrants from the Democratic Republic of Congo need to be detained and they need to be tested for Ebola three times. Okay, Ebola is no joke. And the, and the latest crisis of, the, of Ebola in the Democratic Republic of Congo is over. But over the last 10 to 11 years, well, no, I take it back, 20 years, Ebola has disappeared and reappeared seven different times. Seven different times Ebola has disappeared and reappeared particularly in the eastern part of the Democratic Republic of Congo. So there needs to be three separate Ebola tests that all come back negative, number one. Uh, number two, number two, e uh, they need, as soon as the tests come back negative, they need to have an Ebola vaccine upon arrival. And this goes for tourists from the Democratic Republic of Congo as well. I'm not against people from the Democratic Republic of Congo, but Ebola is no joke right now. Ebola is, um, I mean, it's no joke. I mean, it used to have about a 98 to 99% fatality rate. It has improved in a sense that only it's only about a 65 to 70% fatality rate now, but it's still over 50%, and there's no known cure for Ebola. And even Ebola survivors still have moments where they feel bad, where they still twitch here and there. It's still not the same. Um, so the Ebola situation does not need to appear in Southern Africa and it needs to be under control. Now, a lot of native South Africans don't want immigrants from other African countries to come to South Africa. The EFF is an exception. They want open border policies for South Africa, which I think will be a disaster. But at the same time, immigrants from other African countries say that they take jobs that many South Africans don't want. So there's two sides to every story on this. Um, now, with that being said, there has been some exploitations and slave labor of people from other countries because uh, they are willing to work for less. So, um, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless. And bye-bye. Bye-bye.